Michelle here. Hey guys, I have got such an amazing story to tell you today. So, you know how we have been talking about Jesus the healer? And last week we learned that Jesus healed 10 men, right? And only one person come back to tell Jesus thank you for healing him. Well, this week we are going to learn about how Jesus healed a woman and a little girl. So let me set the scene for you. Jesus was walking along after having healed other people. People were starting to believe, hey, he's the Messiah. He really does have the ability to heal people. And they were beginning to grow in their faith. Faith means that you believe something. So one day Jesus was in this crowd of people and this man, his name was Jairus, he comes up to him and Jairus was a real important person in the synagogues. And he comes up to Jesus and he says, Jesus, I need you to come and heal my daughter. So Jesus decides he's going to go to Jairus' house to look at his daughter and see what he could do to heal the daughter. Well, as they began walking, all of a sudden, Jesus felt the strength go out of him. And he knew somebody had touched him. Well, this woman had needed to have healing too. She had been sick for 12 years. Can you imagine that's longer than you've been alive? And this woman had gone to doctors and the doctors were able to uh, heal her or anything. And she knew that Jesus was a healer. She had seen him heal. And she knew that if she had faith in Jesus, that she could get healed too. And she didn't even have to ask him, really. All she had to do, if she could just reach out and touch his clothes, she knew that she would be healed. So Jesus, walking along, all of a sudden felt the strength go out of him. And he stops and he turns around and he asks his disciples, who touched me? And the disciples are like, Jesus, we've got all this big old crowd of people around you. What do you mean who touched you? Like, how are we going to find out who touched you? And Jesus says, I know someone touched me. Well, the woman bows down at Jesus' feet and she says, Lord, I touched you. And Jesus tells her, her faith healed her. Because she believed in him. She knew he was the Messiah. And she knew that Jesus was a great healer. How awesome is that, boys and girls, to know you and I, we know that same Jesus. And we can pray to him for our healing whenever we're sick too. So Jairus, he's standing there. He's waiting for Jesus to get done talking to this lady. And one of Jairus's servants comes running up to him and he's like, Jairus, it's too late. Your daughter died. And you can imagine how sad Jairus was to think he, his little girl that was just 12 years old had passed away. He was so sad. But Jesus says, let's go on to your house. So Jesus and Jairus go to Jairus' house. And Jesus sees the little girl laying on the bed. And there were all kinds of people there. They were so sad that this little girl died. And they were crying. And they were, they were just terribly sad. And Jesus goes over to the little girl and he holds her hand. And he says, why are you crying? She is not dead. She is sleeping. Well, the people knew that the little girl had died. So they were like, what does he mean that she's sleeping? And all of a sudden, Jesus says, little girl, wake up and walk. And the little girl did. She woke up. And she walked around the home and everybody celebrated because Jesus healed the little girl. This is the same Jesus that you and I know. You can read more about Jesus doing healing in your Bibles under Mark 5. That's where this story has come from. And remember what I told you last week is anytime someone tells you a Bible story, you want to make sure you go to your Bible and that you read it because the Bible is God's word. Everything in it is true. So you want to always make sure you read the Bible yourself. But boys and girls, how exciting is it that you and I get to talk to the very Jesus that saves people and a Jesus that heals people. So speaking of healing people, I want to talk to you now about our key passage. Remember what I told you about our key passage is it's kind of long. 
Last week, we learned a portion of it. Our key passage is in Isaiah verses 4 and 5. And the first part of the key passage was, Yet he himself bore our sickness. Remember, I told you sickness was sin. And so Jesus took our sin, right? Whenever he went on the cross, he took our sin and he died for our sin. So that was the part that we learned last week. This week, I'm going to add another little part to it. And it says punishment, which we said is death, for, for our peace was on him. Which means that Jesus died on the cross for us. Now, the last part of the verse, I want to go ahead and tell you, but I'm not worried about you remembering it just yet, but you can if you want to. The last part of the verse says, and we were healed, which means saved by his wounds. Boys and girls, this is a fantastic verse to put in your heart. So we're going to do it all together. It says, yet he himself bore our sickness. Punishment for our peace was on him. And we were healed by his wounds. That is an amazing Jesus that did that, isn't it? And he did it and he chose to do it for you and I because he loves us. Which brings me to our big picture question. Are you ready? I want to see if you can remember this big picture question. We did it last week. And the big picture is question is, why did God create people? Why did God create you and I? Do you know? God created people to love him and to give him glory. We know such a fantastic God. And boys and girls, he knew you from the day he created you. He knew even before he laid the foundation of the earth. God knew he was going to create you and that he created you with a purpose and a plan. And I'm so excited to get to share with you God's plan and to see how you show other people God's love. That's what he wants us to do. All right, boys and girls, I am going to ask you some questions and I wanna see if you know the answers to our questions. Are you ready? Question number one is, what did Jairus ask Jesus to do for him? Do you remember what he wanted him to do? Jairus wanted him to heal his daughter, didn't he? All right, here's question number two. Let's see if you know the answer. Who in the crowd touched Jesus' robe? Who was it? It was a woman who had been sick for a long time, wasn't it? And she touched his robe. Did she get healed? Yes, she did, because Jesus can do that, and her faith did that. Here's question number three. Are you ready? What happened to the woman when she touched Jesus' clothes? Uh-oh, I already gave you the answer for that, didn't I? So what happened to her? She got healed, didn't she? And God said her faith saved her. Jesus said her faith saved her. What happened to Jairus' daughter before he got to the house? Do you remember, remember the servant that came up to them? What did he say? He said that the little girl died, didn't he? But did Jesus allow her to stay dead? No, sir. Jesus rose her from the dead, didn't he? Just like he rose from the dead at Easter, right? All right, here's our last question. Let me see if you know it. Why did God create people? Why did God create people? God created people to love him and to give him glory. Boys and girls, our lesson today is about faith. And it is about faith trusting God. And it is so important for us to know that God is with us every single day and God helps us every day. Jesus showed his power as the Messiah. Jesus can heal and he can give dead people life. Jesus died on the cross and he rose again to save people from the dead. When we trust in Jesus, God forgives us of our sin and changes us to be more like his son. Boys and girls, thank you for sharing this time with me today. I look forward to seeing you next week. Before we go, let's go to our Lord in prayer and let him know how much we love him. All right? So we go with respect. We bow our heads, fold our hands. 
Heavenly Father, I just thank you for these children. God, I'm so excited to see what you're going to do in their lives. Lord, I know that you created each child with a purpose and a plan. And I know that your plan is for us to love one another. Father, it doesn't matter what color our skin is. doesn't matter what color our hair is. doesn't matter how our eyes look. What matters is that we are all your children. And we are thankful for that, Lord. And I just pray that all children, all people, would love you and give you the honor and the glory that you deserve. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Boys and girls, I love you. I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a good week. Bye.